play. You need to start playing online Go more. What's stopping you? What is stopping you? Ooh. Hmm. San Rensei versus Duel 3 Threes. I'm not sure how I want to respond to that, but I think we'll go this way. <laughs> Did you have a plan? <laughs> Are you just like, I know that you're supposed to play the 4 4 versus the 3 3. One of those, he was a bot. A bot that tries to be like, if you want to be famous. The fear of failure and not living up to arbitrary rank given on the servers. Oh, oh man. That doesn't sound like it has anything to do with Go. Just saying. Well, I want to cut this. Uh, okay. No, should I just leave? Nope, I need more strength for the cutting stones. We'll extend, right? And then we'll just poke, poke. Actually, no, we should slide here. First. Let's make these exchanges. Make sure black's a little less comfortable here. Can you surround me in one move? Perhaps. Oh, Black's trying to surround this on a large scale. I see. Sometimes I'm a little slow on the uptake. Uh, let's do this one, then. Now Black can surround me in one move. Going to do that first. Do one of those. And this should allow us to connect under. Black got a lot on the left, though. And these three stones are probably gone. It says black by 40, but it's giving black a lot on the left. Like, I can still invade that, right? It's getting harder with the thickness, though. I suppose. 
So my advice to you, Robert00, Zero Zero, is play more games that you know you're going to lose. So lose on purpose. Play against stronger people. Like, much stronger. Even games. And expect to lose. And do that enough times till it's not so painful. Mm, I do kind of want this. Slide might be better. But these shapes from black are a little bit weird. And they're already pre-cut for me? Oh, I should have pushed one more time. Yeah, they're really using their influence well, huh? Alright. Let's cut through. Seems like fun. He might punish me for ignoring the cap. But this actually helps me connect. It's a little strange. <laughs> Thank you for the advice. I don't know if it'll help you or not. <laughs> Can't hurt to play more, exactly. And if you go in with the expectation, like, these people are way stronger than me, of course I'm gonna lose, then it doesn't sting as much. You could even create a new account for it, like an airbagging account. And plus, you'll learn something by playing the stronger players. Or at least that's how it works for me. <laughs> Sometimes. Alright, let's do something about this. Hey, how's it going, Daniel? Zalian, it went pretty well in my warm-up game. I kind of dominated. And this game, I think I'm getting a little bit wrecked, actually. It was black by 18. I didn't understand what Black was doing at first, and then all of a sudden they got this huge center area. Airbagging, it's the opposite of sandbagging. It's where you create an account that's higher than your, than your actual rank. I'm not airbagging today. This is... I earned this rank, stiker -san. I was giving advice to Robert00 because he has ladder anxiety. So I recommended that he, he play more games that he is certain he's going to lose. By playing stronger opponents. How do we do? Now oh, it's black by 67? Shoot. Really bad anxiety playing rank games? How'd you get over it? A lot of people tie their go rank to their identity. Like, I'm a smart or stupid person based on what rank I am. And I think you're not going to enjoy your life that way. <laughs> like, you're not, you're not any more or less valid of a person 
based on your skill at Go. Or any other skill for that matter. Those two stones don't matter. Here, let me show you. I got my head around the idea that games I lose while playing my best are the most important games that I can play. It is those games where I usually learn the most and are actionable flaws to improve on. Oh yeah, that's good. Ranked is just a tool to find the right level of opponent to have those good losses too. Yeah. And if you're playing at your appropriate rank, you're going to lose 50% of your game, right? Um, you're going to lose 50% of your games at your real rank. Now, different servers have different ranking systems, so let me specify your real rank on that server. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, um, you got to get comfortable with losing games. Because of all the, all the tragedies you've experienced in your life, losing a game of Go is probably the least, least severe, right? <laughs> Uh, Black's still ahead by 19. We did erase most of the left side, so that's good. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh, thanks. Um. Huh. Oh, he can always take the two stones to connect, so I don't have to worry about that. I think what I'd like to do is just come on in here now, if I can. Hmm. Is it possible? Maybe it's not possible. Maybe I just have to reduce. Three wins away from three. Am I? Am I that close? Holy shnikey, I had no idea. Well, this one probably isn't going to be one of those wins. <laughs> but, you know, we're doing our best. Yeah. Good. I, I need more pressure in my life. No. <laughs> what are we doing? Black by 27. <laughs> and I'm really not sure how to weasel my way in there. Do I have 20 points in endgame? I don't think I do. Guess we can extend up once. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't do what I want to do yet. All right. G14 for a little bit of reducing. G G G G 14. Yeah, we can play there. But that's not big enough. Try an ambush. Yeah, I want to leave enough Aji around that my opponent doesn't quite know what to expect. I think we're going to extend here first. Okay.
You're still out of practice, you got... Well, my opponent played in such a way that they didn't leave a lot of weaknesses. Oh, number 11? Ooh, that is interesting. And then connect here? Yeah, I see what you mean. And we can potentially take away all the eye shape here. Fighting spirit, thanks, Bifu Curry. <laughs> That's all the ideas you need. Fighting spirit. <laughs> Win this so I have a good mood before six stone handicap? Ooh. Well, let's see what we can do, huh? So, what I want... Let's go ahead and play here. It's your 16th wedding anniversary? And you're showing up to teach me a lesson? <laughs> you, you showed up on your birthday too, oh my gosh. Cornell, you're a workaholic. Congratulations on the anniversary. Well, he's a he's a better man than I am. Okay. So if we go how to <laughs> there, 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 there. I need more liberties on this side, right? Play sneaky. Yeah, it seems a little bit too late. I'm trying to play sneaky. I'm not doing so well. Okay. Might Atari, Atari, Atari. Yeah, that all works for him, unfortunately. Sacrifice. I'm not going to kill anything. I can't kill anything right now.
the best I can do is make a little bit of eye shape in Sente. This is a Hail Mary invasion, right? Maybe I can kill these? Hmm, tough to see how. We'll see. Oh, he can just give up the three stones. I mean, it still represents a reduction. But I was assuming my opponent would connect. Nine, eight, seven, six. <gasps> no way! Okay. So, how do we do? Black by 10! Oh, maybe we can get 10 points. Maybe this isn't so bad. Ugh. We might be able to get 10 points. What is that? That's not a thing, right? Oh, G8? No, I was gonna do G7 for sure. For real. Okay, there's, uh... There's eight more points. Cool. Potentially. I'll play here. So, I don't know if I have enough liberties. It's a bluff. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> but I can force my opponent to play inside several times, right? All right, so uh, let's take a liberty. <gasps> oh no, whoops. That was a mistake. I thought that was an Atari for some reason. What an illusion. Oh, hmm. Can you do this?
Semidori time. Mm hmm. He pushes, I block, he does this, we Atari, Atari. That's fine. Uh, we don't care about those three stones, right? Remove Q4? Q, 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 Q. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed. Black by five and a half. We didn't do it, Reddit. <laughs> five, four, three, two. This attached is fifteen points in Yose. Oh, dang. A16, oh, playing bad endgame, this one. A16, then G17. Q14 double up? Uh huh. Now it says wipe by 11? Now I get 11 points. So let's see, what's the biggest one to block? I don't think I have another Sente, do I? Oh, I guess I should have done that first. Yep. Weird. So he can connect and sente? C14. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I never did put the countdown up. I set the countdown.
Now it says black by six. Oh, right. I have to play up here. Is there a Tsuji in here somewhere? Okay, let's prevent the connect and die. Black by seven and a half. Automatic counting. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I accept. You lost seven and a half points. I did my best. We came back from a 30 point loss, so. It was close. Yep. It was a good game. It was a good game. Still need three wins to go up. Thanks. Yeah, hey, good morning. Nice. Hey, good morning to come back but uh in the beginning in the lower right corner we have to check one move okay. set up for you real quick please yep that center was just too big yeah it really was he uh... captured those stones so you you were playing a sun sun double sun sun against the sun and say that's nice so now this one yeah he overplayed here when he played mm -hmm. his m17 so he was supposed to play m16 and instead of O seventeen, you can go N sixteen right away. Oh, I couldn't decide on how to cut it apart. Uh -huh. I knew I should, but I, I wasn't sure how. Uh-huh. The the thing is if he pushes N seventeen and you push through, when he cuts he's in an empty triangle. So now you just go up. Mm -hmm. And then he has a problem both on the right side and the bottom. That's why he's not supposed to play M seventeen. So I guess right now he'll extend maybe K sixteen or just Kosumi. Usually K sixteen. He can also extend J17, but he wants to play a high game. And then you attack the right side. Uh, I don't think you need to play no Stisuji here. I mean, you can consider it. P14 to be very aggressive. Oh, maybe that one just kills, huh? Q15. No, Q15 oh, yeah, need black, run away. Yeah, black, black can play Q15. But then you attack uh, the bottom stones. So either way is good for you. Okay. That's how you gotta punish because when you play 017, he can jump and then he can give you some stones, and then it's too much. Mm -hmm. I mean, like this, you put you put him in a you force him into a bad shape. So you play what 017? Yeah, he could he could even play a one speed jump and 15, and then you don't cut so well. <clears throat> but if he turns, as Herb is uh, suggesting at Q15 after the push and cut, I mean the other way. In the other variation. Oh yeah. Then you just press the bottom stones. The the way black cuts here, it's already painful. So yeah, he needs to turn, but now you put pressure on these guys at K16. So then you get stronger in the middle. Uh, I think here usually they go L16, Kosumi it's okay to go out or to crawl. And you can make the wall. You just block. Uh, hang on a second. I think I need to pause the stream. All right, so then uh, black goes K17. Then you know okay. B. Uh, J, uh, can you double honey? Let's see, Atari, Atari. No, that's too much because of the snapback. But you just get ahead a few times. So J15 and push again and jump. Oh, he can pushes jump. again. Uh, yeah, I think he will push one more time. And then jump. 
No, no, you, you nobi and then he has to jump. Okay. <clears throat> but then you make this nice wall and you take away the extension on the right side, something like P12. So this looks so much different than the actual game because now you're going to have a moyo. And those stones are just heavy. They have to run out. It's ugly. This is bad for black. Black is not mm -hmm. supposed to be chopped in two groups uh, in, in that Joseki. Right. That's why the, the Joseki move is M16. All right, so shall we try a game? See how sure, it Sure, we can do that. Handicap uh, six. If you win, then we move up to handicap three. <laughs> yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> All right, uh, let me switch accounts and then I'll challenge you. Sounds good. All right, I'll hang up Skype so we can focus. All right. We'll talk, we'll talk after the game. Sounds All good. Right. We'll match you. Mm -hmm. Start to play. <laughs> there we go. Have a good game. Hmm. <laughs> Two solid play, I don't know. I drop cuts and we Atari and then Atari again. Well, let's just play this way. Probe.
Oh yeah, that's just dead, huh? Make some eye shape here if we can. We lost the corner, but we're still ahead. For now. Easy win. <laughs> Easy win for you, maybe.
BNT01 says, I used to play, but now I stop, and now I want to play back, but I hate playing on internet. Well, I mean, once the whole COVID situation is over, play somewhere else. <laughs> play with a Go Club. Why do you hate playing on internet? It's kind of fun. I was about 7Q, I know, but it's strange because it's like I can't take a game seriously on internet. Oh. Huh. Not sure what would cause that. So you are playing like Daniel. <laughs> All for the fun and the kill. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Keep getting people who are Don level with a 10Q account on OGS. <laughs> yeah, so you you gotta not take the uh, ranks on OGS to be like AGA ranks. They they are not the same. <laughs> not the same.
Oh, did I trap myself? I think I did. Yeah, it's Sunday, huh? Looks like we got tricked again. Alive. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Alive with two, four, six, seven points. Would love to get to one done someday. You can do it. It's just hard work, study, taking lessons. I started streaming when I was 11Q, and that was a couple of years ago. Twelve Q, thank you. <laughs> Twelve Q or so, yep. Lessons are absolutely paying off. Plus studying and all that stuff. Based on how he's playing in this game, still 11Q? Oh, that's not fair. Yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Forever the soul of a DDK. Thanks, Creakers. <laughs> <laughs> Creakers, here's your mugshot. Did I misread this sequence? I'm not really sure. Oh, frack me. <laughs> If I play it out, he squeezes this, right? Oh, man. What a disaster. Oh, Daniel, you're just not paying attention, are you, buddy? <laughs> Co threats. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. point co. Block the wrong one. Sheesh. Hmm. 
Uh, how to? Maybe this one? He takes. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So, I mean, the trade was okay, I guess. But I shouldn't have gotten in into, into the cone in the first place. I was too greedy for these 8 or 10 points. And so I lost this in defending this, which is kind of sad, kind of sad. Yeah, we like- I like Badoo Doctor's videos a lot. And, yeah, there are a lot of really strong players, uh, giving lectures. I gotta admit, though, sometimes I have trouble watching Go content. Either it's the concentrational- Okay, so I'm gonna put it out there. If there's quality issues on the channel, like audio issues, uh, layout design issues, stuff like that, I, I tend to have a little bit of problems watching it anymore. I'm a bit quality obsessed, I think. <laughs> like, that stuff shouldn't bother me that much, but it does. You have to be in the mood for instructional Go content. Yes, you do. It is certainly a mood. Starts another call. Uh. See you later, Herb3. Thanks for hanging out. So in my opinion, Ko is a good thing when you're playing a strong player. And here's why. Ko is the tool of the strong player to come back from being behind. So. <laughs> Season. He's not behind. He's ahead. Yeah, you gotta protect.
F6, did I miss? Yeah, F6 is neat. It's good protection. Is it good enough? Oh, excuse me. A little bit of a grumbly stomach there. Playing the call. Uh, those were all co threats that I just wasted. Yay. Okay, but we do have a co there now. Oh, that was a mm, misclick. Actually, it's okay. It's okay. Really wants me to play the call. Lol. <laughs> Never mind, it's not a call. <laughs> no call. It's a semi I now. Dragon versus dragon. Who, which dragon will win? Oh, I could have done that. Oh, shoot, I should have done that. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, and a co. So he was actually eliminating co threats here before. You couldn't have done it. Yeah, I think I. Wouldn't change much. And 
and then I have to ignore all kinds of threats. It's a many step co, right? Clever. It's risky for a Is it risky for white? Doesn't seem that risky for white. It's gotta be said. One, two, three. And do I have big enough co threats? Anywhere. I don't think I do. Top left? Oh, there's top left. So if I get two moves in a row, I see. And Nancy sixteen. What do you guys see that I don't see? You mean for white? Ah, I see. That wouldn't be big enough, but it would still be big. Yeah, white's far ahead, of course. White by Oh, crap. Oh, I can't do that even. Oops. <laughs> Sometimes it's tough to see the sequences, y'all. There's that.
Aegon Zealous Spuchus 10. Thanks for the follow. What did you do with the first nine? Aegon Zealous Spuchus is. <laughs> it's a many. Uh, it's a many Aegon Zealous Spuchuses. There's at least nine others. Oh, these are all dead. Hmm. All right, I resigned. You got me. Thanks for the game. You got me. Good job. Well, it's 11.53. Top right was bad in Fuseki. Yeah. Yep. But then you shouldn't miss the goal. Aha. Uh -huh. On the bottom. Right. I did have to play it. Yep. That trade was okay for white? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I agree. Exciting game as usual. Absolutely. That was pretty fun. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, because my play style is um, I make things complicated and fight a lot, the person who reads better is just going to win. And, like, you're, there's no way I can beat someone at your level at reading. So, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. And that's okay. I don't mind losing to Cornell, that's for sure. I do not mind losing to my teacher. <laughs> I assume that you have some plans with your wife for your anniversary. So, thank you for the lesson. Next time you win. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep dreaming about that. <laughs> Happy anniversary. I hope you enjoy your anniversary. Thank you so much for the lesson. I did learn a lot. And I have a lot to think about from these games. So... For sure. See you next Sunday. So as I like to remind everyone, be sure to support Cornell on his channel, which is twitch.tv slash CornellGo. He also has a YouTube, which I believe is youtube.com slash Cornell Burzo. Um, if you would like lessons from Cornell, his IGS and KGS is Cornell. OGS is Cornell11. If you look him up on OGS, he has a price schedule and everything to find. Um, if you'd like lessons from him, they're very reasonable, very informative. I've come a long way, and I'm still growing from my study and lessons and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's really helpful to have a strong player guide you in certain directions, for sure. And lastly, if you enjoy this content and would like to support it, uh, your bits, your cheers, your donations, your subscriptions, all that stuff helps me pay Cornell for his time, so I really appreciate all the support. Of course, you guys just being here learning with me, hanging out with me, all that stuff is enough for me. So, uh, you know, you guys just supporting the content is good enough. But if you'd like to go that extra mile, those are all ways you can help.